is forward ever and backward never. A joyful rally at City Hall as Newark celebrated regaining local control over its school district and 55,000 students following more than two decades of deeply resented state-imposed rules, budgets, and superintendents. We now have control over uh, you know, our own children's lives. And it, and it means what? That we doesn't mean that we don't make mistakes or, or that there's, there won't be any errors or obstacles or pitfalls or things that may go wrong. What it does mean is that we have the right to make the mistakes and have the right to correct them ourselves. I think today marks a new day, a new era, when we really see what the community can really do and be involved in. The right to self-government can no longer be divorced from the great goal of providing a high-quality education in the city of New Earlier today, New Jersey's Board of Education voted unanimously to end state takeover, deciding Newark had achieved all the requisite benchmarks in self-governance, financial reform, and student performance. The motion carries. But the applause is hard won. Back in 1995, the state stepped in to improve education and end corruption in the district, where only 54% of students graduated. That rate's now 77%, and Newark kids also show steadily improving grades in reading and math. But the takeover process sparked family fury in Newark neighborhoods, where parents felt ignored and disenfranchised, particularly after Chris Christie appointee Cammie Anderson took charge as superintendent in 2011. Anderson imposed her one Newark plan that parents felt denied them school choice. Students mutinied, high schoolers staged walkouts, and occupied Anderson's office at the district administration building. After Anderson left, Superintendent Chris Cerf restored calm and worked with the local board, Mayor Baraka, and neighborhoods. When rhetoric is flying, when, when anger is in the air, it is hard to keep your eye on, on the prize. And I actually think that's why this has happened, because underneath everything, um, there has been an insistence on better schools and better options. The successes that were mentioned today, these are successes that Newark teachers achieved even with the state's boot on their back. What comes next? The state and the district must plan for the transition, and next year Newark voters must decide if they want an elected school board or one appointed by the mayor. I like an elected school board. I think that that's important for the residents to maintain uh, as much democracy as possible. I'm going to be involved in that as much as I possibly can. At this point, I think it's also an opportunity for us to remove the politics out of the public schools, the schools, period. I think these decisions have to be made for children. But it's tough to weed out all the politics. Surf's contract ends in June, and the district will soon launch a nationwide search to replace him. Meanwhile, Camden and Patterson still chafe under state control, perhaps not for long. Over two decades later, I have learned one thing. State takeover does not work. Essex County Senator Teresa Ruiz said she'll draft legislation to make district remediation more of a partnership than an occupation. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.